Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having a fantastic day. As you can tell by the title, today's video is going to be a drugstore all affordable makeup look on this look right here. This is the perfect look if you want some glam, but you want more of like a daytime wearable look that um, doesn't take a lot of makeup and it's super light on the skin. This is definitely my go-to type of look because um, you're not using a lot of product. It's super light and breathable on the skin, but you still have a little bit of makeup and glam feel to it. So um, if you want to see how I got this look using all affordable drugstore products, just keep on watching. All right, guys. So I'm just going to start by putting my hair back. You guys know I'm always using like little hair clips and stuff just for when I do my makeup, especially my face makeup. It's just a little easier if my hair is back and out of the way. I'm going to start off with some primer and of course I'm going to use my Tatcha The Silk Canvas. You guys know this is basically one of my favorite primers. I always find that it helps with um, my breakouts and acne and just really making sure that your makeup is not clogging your pores. That's something that's super, super important. And you definitely want to make sure of. Yeah, you don't need that much of this product either. And then I'm just smoothing it out. Kind of concentrating this in my T-zone. Well, I am going to actually fill in my eyebrows a little bit today because I'm going to do a little more makeup than usual. So you guys know when I've been doing lighter makeup, I've kind of been skipping doing my eyebrows. So not anything too heavy. So now for the rest of the face makeup, I'm going to be taking my L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear Concealer. And this is kind of the routine I've been doing lately. I'll go in with this and kind of do all my coverage. And I'll be doing concealing under other makeup. And then I'm taking the brush I would use for foundation and blending everything out. This is a really easy way to get good coverage without using a lot of product. You can see how much coverage I already got. And it kind of covered up all those spots or scarring or blemishes without the use of too much product. So doing it this way really just helps at keeping the makeup light on the skin, but still giving you the coverage you need. And then I'm taking this Physicians Formula, the Healthy Foundation. I have mine in the shade MC1. I do have it in a darker shade now since I'm a little bit more tan. And I'm just gonna be putting this all over the skin. Again, not applying too much of this. I'm also going to be going under my eyes with it a bit. Just um, a really light layer to kind of match my skin tone to the concealer just to blend it all out, but not applying too much of this at all. Doing a really light layer of it. I do my coverage on my eyes with this too. I haven't really been liking that whole super bright under eye look lately. So I feel like using this is all I need. just kind of evens out my skin tone without applying too much product so as you can see i'm totally fine with some of my spots still showing and my freckles and stuff so i'm not doing like full full coverage and i've kind of been liking that look lately then i'm just going to be going in with some powder my cody airspun like usual i do find this gives me a little bit extra coverage too and it just sets everything in really nicely so i start kind of in this v under my eyes I'm gonna work it down my face, a little bit on the nose, on the eyelids, of course, you don't want your eyelids to be creasing. It's like a light setting. We don't want too much because then our makeup will look cakey, but we want just enough that it gets set in place nicely. Next, I'm gonna be going in with some bronzer. I'm using my Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. This is nice because it kind of provides some contouring at the same time. I just apply right under the cheekbones in like a swirling motion under the chin and I always drag it down my neck to make sure everything looks nice and uniform on the forehead so this will just bring some color back to your skin help shape your face a little bit so it's not just like a blank slate from the foundation then I'm gonna pinch the brush and do a little of nose contouring as well just like so and then with the excess I'm gonna go on the cheeks a little bit as well for blush, um, I am going to go a little bit more warm tone today. I'm using this Milani Baked Blush in the shade Bellissimo Bronze. As you can see, it's very warm tone and bronzy. Taking it on a fan brush like usual. 
going right on the cheeks, just dusting this on. And with the access, I'm going to go right on the nose area. I've been liking that kind of look lately. And keeping with the whole warm tone theme, I'm going to take this Wet n Wild highlighter in the shade Golden Flower Crown. It's a really pretty gold tone highlighter and it's really, really like um, nice and bright, but it blends into the skin nicely and doesn't like look glittery or chunky on the skin either. And then to top that off, I'm going to take this Physicians Formula uh, Warm Nude uh, Shimmer Brick. I'm going to focus in this very light corner right here. I'm just going to top this off with this one. And what I've been doing lately is taking the highlighter brush and kind of going on my eyelid as well. Just for like that sh extra shine to the skin. Alright, now we're going to start on some eyeshadow and I'm going to be using this Milani palette. I haven't used this in a minute, but thought today would be a good day to dip into it. It's nice. Uh, it's got some nice warm tones in here. I'm going to be taking this second shade right here. It's like a rusty brown and I'm just going to put this in my crease like so and then, then I'm going to take a little bit of the shade that's beside it it's a little bit more of a rusty orange tap off the excess and do kind of the same thing this will warm it up a little bit more then I'm gonna go into the Milani most loves matte palette I'm gonna take this shade right here it's a little bit darker in color and i'm gonna start patting this on the outer corner and swiping it all out so as you can see it's a really blown out kind of uniform crease shade i'm gonna take this purple shade right here i love how purples and oranges kind of pair together and i'm gonna concentrate this purple in the outer corner and then slightly pat it out into the center of the eye Uh, and then the shade under is like a mauvey brown. I'm going to do the exact same thing with this one. Just deepen up that outer corner just a tad to bring more definition to the eyes. And make sure you're lightly blending the crease out too. With the excess product, I'm just lightly tapping out. Make sure everything's just really nice and blown out. And for the eyelid, I'm going to take this Hypnotic Lights from Milani in the shade 03 Beaming Light. It's like a light purple shade. And I'm taking a little bit of this. I don't want it to be too vibrant. And I'm just kind of going to do like a half cut crease type thing. So going up to my crease. And again, not using too much product because I don't want to be too vibrant with it. I'm still keeping this look kind of nice and light for the daytime. Just a little bit of it. And then you can always take a brush that you use on your crease and just tap it out in the middle there to make sure everything again nicely blended. And of course for the lower lash line, I'm going to take that same rusty shade, not too much of it, and lightly kind of like dust this on the lower lash line, wisping it out at the end and connecting it to the upper lash line. So I'm gonna go repeat this look on the other eye and I'll be right back to finish off the makeup look. All right, so now that both eyes are done, I'm just gonna take a bit of powder, um, just the loose powder I use on my face and I'm just gonna tap it in like the inner corner right here just to clean up a little bit. You can kind of do this on the outer corner too, just to kind of clean everything up. Then I'm going to take this cream shade right here, and I'm going to use this on the brow bone to highlight. And using this to kind of blend out anything on that outer corner as well. And then using that same Wet n Wild highlighter on my inner corners too. So then finishing off the eyes, I have to apply some mascara, of course. This is just my L'Oreal X Fiber. You guys know I love this stuff. And I'm applying step one to my top lashes first. And then a bit on the bottom. 
and then I'm going to take the step two side and then for the lips I'm going to keep it pretty light I'm going to take this Milani um, lip quid lipstick in the shade Kava it's like a deep deep brown and I'm just going to use this as kind of like my outline and then fill the rest of my lips in with a lighter color And then I'm taking the shade Hot Sand from Maybelline. I'm going right on top. And then I'm going to take Wet n Wild's Bare It All. And go right on top. Alright guys, and that's kind of it for this makeup look. As you can see, it still has some color and it's still very glam, but it's perfect for like the daytime, you know, it's not too dramatic, um, it's pretty light on the skin. We didn't use any like heavy makeup or anything like that, so that's what I love about it. It's super wearable and you can wear this if you're going out during the day, but don't want too, too much on the face or anything like that. And aside from all of that, it's all drugstore products, so you're going to get this look um, using all affordable um, products. So um, that's another plus side to this type of look. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so, so much for watching and getting ready with me, and hopefully you found this video helpful. If there's any certain type of video that you want to see me film, um, make sure you comment that down below, and I'll definitely um, take a look and try to film all those videos for you guys. And make sure to subscribe if you haven't already, and also turn on my post notifications so you get notified every single time. I upload a new video and yeah guys that's really it for this video I hope you're having a fantastic day or night whenever you're watching this and I'll see you in the next one bye guys